Hello YouTube, it's Starlord back here again with a Star Trek review. Now you may be thinking, oh, he's just a comic geek. I may be a geek, but I love Star Trek. It's been one of my favorite shows and movies since I first found out about it in like 2007. That's when I first found out about it. But anyway... We are going to be reviewing this, the Star Trek Starship Legends Enterprise, NCC-1701 from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Electronic Starship, made by Stanley Kovac Toys and Alex Rowland. I got this off Roddenberry, www.roddenberry.com, and... They're 60 bucks a piece on that website, so keep in mind that price in case you want to get one. But the one I'm getting is obviously, I already told you, the Wrath of Khan one. Here's a picture. And the original Kirk. And these are all the sound effects you can get with it. Now I'll look at the back of the box, and yes, I've already taken it out. But, authentic USS Enterprise, TC-1701. Real movie sounds, light-up action, warp nacelles, impulse engines, bridge, and deflector. Here are the other ones that Diamond Select made. The Science Tricorder, Classic Communicator, Enterprise E, Klingon Disruptor, and the Minimates one with Captain Kirk, but obviously I'm not going to get that. It's Minimates. I don't like Minimates. But, enough of that. And there's like a little bio that tells you about Gene Ronberry and the Kirk, and the, not the Kirk Prize, but the Enterprise. So let's kind of get this out of the way. Now, here's the actual ship. This is the actual ship you get. It's actually pretty big. It's a little heavy. Enterprise NCC 1701. Very detailed. Warp nacelles deflector dish right down here and it comes with a little smoky kind of transistent display stand. It actually stands up pretty well on this. NTC 1701 right there. Got your little oh, I forgot what that's called. But these little things right here are the main phaser banks. Can't get a good view. But these things right here are the main phasers. It's a little wobbly. But I'll review the sounds. So you just press the bridge dome here. Now get a good view for you on the sounds. Let me get a. Let me review the sounds. Get a little light bleed around the deflector, and some up here and back here. As you can see, the warp missile lights up too. I like that. I really like that. sounds and also I was just repeatedly pressing the bridge dome but if you hold the bridge dome down for like maybe six to ten seconds 
it'll play all the sounds repeatedly without you having to bam 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 on the main deflector. Well, bridge actually. But it's got good detail. I really like it. All in all, it is a great starship. I'm looking to collecting more. But that is basically all of the Star Trek Starship Legends by Diamond Select USS Enterprise NCC 1701. Uh, let's set it down without falling over. But that's all for today. S subscribe for more.